Currently, it's estimated that 382 million people have diabetes, and there's over 300 million more that are at a stage of pre-diabetes. These numbers continue to rise every year in every country, so it is urgent that action is taken to control this before the diabetes pandemic runs out of control. It's estimated that people being treated for type 2 diabetes, that 42% don't reach the targets that are given to them for their type 2 diabetes. That means that they're in greater danger of developing the complications which can be fatal. It's important that we do more for type 2 diabetes in order to improve the health outcomes of people with diabetes. The Time to Do More project was a unique undertaking to try and identify the opinions of both physicians and the people with diabetes. The key findings of the Time to Do More survey was that there was a disconnect in the communication between the physicians and the people with diabetes. There were low expectations of achieving glycemic targets, both from physician and from patient. We had a low expectations of achieving the diet and lifestyle changes that we expect from our patients. And only approximately half of the information that we were trying to convey was ever being taken up. On completion of the Time to Do More survey, we pulled together a steering committee. We have put together these white papers. One for the physicians, emphasising where they need to take their management of diabetes forward. Also one for the people with diabetes to acknowledge the fact that they have a responsibility for their own disease. The key messages that we are getting across within these papers are that the only way diabetes can be suitably managed is as a team between the physician and the person with diabetes. Title of More has been a very important and pertinent study because it's providing information about questions we have been asking for the last years. Thanks to the Time to Do More, we have probably two big important messages. One of them is coming from what's the impact of lifestyle on patients' perspective, and the other one is what is the opinion of professionals in terms of adherence and non-adherence. And I think that uh, we have to go for that papers to look for how that, that one could help us in our setting to build new strategies to address that gaps or that difficulties we have in our setting. Knowledge is power here and properly uh, informed and briefed about diabetes, the person who's been diagnosed can actually make a significant contribution to keeping their health outcomes as good as possible. We've spoken to the physicians, we've spoken to the people with diabetes, we've completed the survey, we've presented the results. Now it is time to act. It is time to communicate better, it is time to escalate treatment appropriately. It is time to do more to prevent the complications of diabetes.